Welcome to Electron Line. In this example, we have a mass attached to a spring. The mass is on a horizontal surface, and we can assume that there's no friction between the mass and the surface. And when we pull the, the object out to its maximum amplitude, its maximum displacement from the equilibrium point, that's what EP means here, and we let go, the block will then be oscillating back and forth between the maximum amplitude on one side and the maximum amplitude on the other side. If we consider the position x equals zero at the equilibrium point. Now the question is if v max is equal to v, so let's v represents v max, then what will the spring constant k be? Now the maximum velocity will be attained at the equilibrium point, the minimum velocity zero will be obtained at either end of the maximum amplitude of the oscillation. We also know that the total energy in the system, which is typically a sum of the, both the kinetic and the potential energy, so we can write that down, so the energy total is equal to the sum of the potential energy at any moment in time plus the kinetic energy at that moment in time. What we can also say is that the total energy of the system is going to be equal to the maximum potential energy, we'll write as P sub m for max, which is also equal to the maximum kinetic energy. So either we have all potential energy or all kinetic energy or some combination of the two. So since maximum velocity is reached right here when we have the greatest kinetic energy, so we could say that if V equals V max, then we know that the total energy is equal to simply the kinetic energy, so it would be kinetic energy max. And if V is equal to zero, then the total energy can be written as potential energy max. In other words, again, they are equal to one another. They just happen at different points in time. So what we could do then is we could say, well, since the kinetic energy can be described as one-half mv max squared, and the potential energy can be written as one-half kx max squared, and since we could write v max as v and x max as the amplitude a, we can then write this as one-half mv squared is equal to one-half k a squared. Of course, we could get rid of the one halves on both sides, and since we're looking for k, we could then say that k is equal to mv squared divided by a squared. And that's a nice expression for the spring constant k. All we have to do is know what m is, v is, and the amplitude is, and from that we can calculate the spring constant. And that's how it's done.